What's up? What's up? What happened to me this weekend? Ridiculous. I got a call from a friend of mine. He lives out in the desert. He says to me, I got a pet, a brand new pet. I go, what'd you get? He's like, just come down and check it out. I'm like, what is it, a dog? He's like, no. I go, cat, no. Mouse, no. Fish, no. Bird, no. I went down the list. Snake, no. So he says, just come down, you'll never guess. So I go down the desert. And it's quite a ways from here, so it took me a while to get there. And when I arrive, I get into a room. It's like a 20 by 20 room, and there's a chair. I sit down on the chair. He's like, wait. And I wait and I wait, and all of a sudden, this big ass elephant comes in with my friend. I go, What is that? He's like, I got a female elephant. Where'd you get that from? He gave me a name of some place. I go, Those things eat a lot of food, and you're not going to be able to afford this pet. It's not really a pet anyway. So, you know, I start feeling the, uh, you know, head. The eyes are like big cow eyes looking at me. And then he says to me, why don't you sit down on that chair over there, I'll be right back. And he makes the elephant, Samantha, get down on its knees or whatever. And here I am in the room with an elephant, the elephant's looking at me, I'm looking at the elephant. It's like steering competition. And my friend disappears, he goes somewhere, I don't know what the hell he went to find. All of a sudden I notice the elephant getting up, you know and getting closer to me in slow motion just barely moving a little at a time it's almost like I was playing that game uh, one two three red light and I'd turn and look and the elephant would stop and then it would move slowly again so what the hell is this elephant doing and it's full grown and it comes right up to me and I'm thinking okay I better get up and try and get out of this place because I think this elephant's gonna sit on me or something it comes up to me, I get up, and it sticks out its trunk like an arm and flings me back into the chair. Very strong, it's like muscular. And uh, so I'm frozen. I'm looking at the elephant with the big cow eyes, and I'm trapped. I can't go left, I can't go right, I can't, I can't go anywhere. So it keeps coming and coming and coming closer and closer until this part of its face right here its mouth is right up against me right here like this and it's coming even closer and I can feel now the pressure building up and I'm like up against the wall and I'm thinking okay now's a good time to yell help so I start yelling help 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 and I can feel this big elephant just squeezing me and I can hardly breathe now and the last second my friend comes in and tugs on the elephant's tail and pulls the elephant off me. I go, I could have died right there, you wacko. Could have died. You know, so he found it funny, he was laughing. I go, don't ever do that to me again. Never leave this elephant alone with me in a room and you go, it's worse than a pit bull. And heavy. Heavy. I don't know. Anyway, that's what he has. He has a pet elephant. Ridiculous.